Dealing with some of the small curved streets is a little bit more tricky, but it's still um, quite quite easy to deal with. So I'm going to do. I'm going to look at this Broderick Street here. I'm going to zoom in on it so we can uh, get to it a little bit more clearly. Now, although these streets all join up, what you don't want to have to do is to draw them all as one massive continuous shape. But if you draw them with black lines, you're obviously going to be able to see the edges of all of them. So what we can do is we can either switch our line color to white or we can draw in black and then after we finish drawing switch to a white line so it doesn't show up. And the word Broderick Street here is on a curve so what we want to do is put text on a curve as well. So I'll show you how we're going to do those things. So I'm going to start off first of all I'm going to go for the um, in fact I can, I can have a filled shape color before I even start drawing so I'm going to go for this one I'm going to actually tell it this time that I want to fill it with color as I go along. So I'm going to go with white. So it's going to do a solid white fill. I'm going to draw my lines. So same thing as before. I'm going to follow the curve around as close as I can to the traced line. And then what I'm going to do is when I get to a kind of intersection, like here, instead of trying to do the whole thing, I'm just going to turn back on myself and overlap. Now I can do another one going on afterwards which overlaps the end of this one it doesn't matter so I can draw these roads in various um, smaller shapes and I'm going to join those up with a right click so you can see straight away then it's filled that in with color now um, I'm going to take off the black line on there now so I'm going to select this and I'm going to choose up here so my line color now I'm going to make it white instead of black and if I just click off the page altogether and come back on it you can see now that that has not got a, a white line uh, sorry it's got a white edge to it not a um, not a black line I can even if it's easiest for me I can grab that and just move it slightly off the upwards so I can see the duplicate sh sort of shape there other ways of um, deselecting so if I've got things selected if I click off of here it selects this one if I right mouse click instead I can cycle through with right mouse click of selecting and deselecting various things. To put the name on, in this case um, Broderick Street, I'm going to draw a, a curved line. So I'm going to go for this, draw an open Bezier curve. And I'm just going to draw the line pretty much parallel but underneath where I want it to go. You can see I'm just pretty much going along with the same kind of curvature. I'll do for now. I'll right mouse click. And I'm going to go for um, this feature here which says draw text along a path. It's going to ask me to locate my path, so I'm going to click on that line. See, it got, it's gone pink now to say, is this the one I'm using? I'm going to write in my Broderick Street. And then I'm going to go to Settings. And under Settings, I'm going to actually um, have typographical size rather than actual height. And I'm going to go for about size 8. Click OK. Click OK. And that's now put the writing along that curve. I don't need the line underneath anymore, so I can go for this delete any and delete the line and then select my text and just move that up till I think it's in the right kind of place. That doesn't look too bad. And that's basically how you do it.